guys, it's that time of the year again. Van Cleef & Arpels just released their 2021 holiday pendant. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys both holiday pendant from 2015, which is the pink porcelain, and compare it to the 2021 Rodinite holiday pendant. They're both in rose gold and have the slightest variation in the pink tone. I'm going to include a detailed comparison of these two beautiful pink color holiday pendants under different lighting, different angles, Angle and when you wear it what they're supposed to look like and also whether or not I would get it Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am so excited to be showing you guys two of the hottest Van Cleef & Arpels holiday pendant, which is the 2015 Pink Porcelain and the 2021 Rodinite. I know there has been a lot of talks about it and that's how I initially started looking as well. So in today's video, I'm going to share how I got my 2015 Pink Porcelain one and if I'm going to be getting the 2021 Rodinite piece as well. I'm going to include a detailed footage of comparison between these two necklaces and also what they look like under different lighting so you can make a better decision for yourself if one becomes available according to my understanding this piece is pretty hot cakes so it's been sold out before it even launched some of you guys have asked me if I'm ready to let go of my pink porcelain I am the proud owner of a 2015 pink porcelain holiday pendant and I am loving it as everywhere I go I always get compliments when people see it and they ask me how do they get one so I'm one of those lucky people that accidentally got one without preparing to get one as in that year it was my first time in Paris and I actually went into the store to purchase something for my mom and it was around the release time for the holiday pendant I believe it was around September 15 ish so after purchasing the piece for my mother the salesperson had asked me hey have you seen this year's holiday pendant and I go what holiday pendant I had no idea and she's like well I'm not supposed to show you a picture of it because it's not officially released yet but just imagine pink and porcelain and when I heard when when I heard the word pink, I'm like, I really want to see it. So she kind of under the table, low key showed me a picture of it. I was like, yes, can I get it now? She's like, well, usually we pre-sell it, and then you can only pick it up on the day of the release. And I was like, when is the release date? She's like, tomorrow. I was like, absolutely, I'm coming back to get this piece. So that's how it happened. It really happened by accident as I was not looking to purchase one or was I even aware of this piece. And fast forward, when I returned to America, I heard all of my friends talking about it and I go, really? Is this one of those pieces that everyone trying so hard to get? And the answer is obviously. I just felt really lucky I was able to get my hands on one of these pieces and also it really holds sentimental value as it was my first time traveling to Europe, first time visiting Paris, and first time shopping at Van Cleef um, at the Plaza Vendôme. So there was a lot of firsts. So this piece definitely holds a lot of special place in my heart. Fast forward to this year, 2021, when I initially saw the picture of the Rod and I holiday dependent being released least my eyes definitely popped out again and I started you know talking to my friends in the Lux circle you know what's interesting a lot of them their reactions were not that hot because they said you know the natural pattern of the stone appears to be looking like spam and I go wow I did not view it that way in my eyes it's just another sparkly pink stone set with a rose gold setting so I wasn't thinking too much but after hearing them talking about it and there's like many of them giving me the same feedback I stopped myself from jumping on it just because I already own the pink porcelain in their eyes they think pink porcelain is much better compared to the rod and I so I definitely took a step back and thought about it which resulted in the fact that I couldn't get my hands on one anymore. And on top of that, the person that I usually work with from Van Cleef and our pals no longer work there. So the person referred me to another person, which then I reached out to before the launch date, October 1st. Basically the answer I got was, you know, we already pre-sold it and everything was sold out. If I come across another one, I'll let you know. And I'm completely okay with it. Now I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the comparisons of these two beautiful pink color holiday pendants under different different lighting, different angle, and when you wear it, what they're supposed to look like. So let's jump into that. The 
initial thing that I noticed between these two pieces are the pink porcelain appears to be more of an opaque pink color. It is a piece of stone that does not have variations or patterns inside the stone, so the color is pretty consistent. Like if you were to put 10 of these necklaces right next to each other, they would almost look identical. Versus the Rodonite this year's version, it is a stone that came from a natural form of stone, so there's a lot of variations because the pattern of the stone could vary from one end to the other depending on the cut and the pick of the stone all of the necklaces is going to have its unique look. So none of them is going to look uniform. I saw this photo that a person shared of their salesperson showing them a series of necklaces together on one tray. Some just appear to be lighter than the other and some are just darker and have more sparkles. So that's one of the reasons why I was not sure about pursuing one because there's a lot of variations. Plus I love the pure pink color. Rod and I could appear to be a little bit more more purplish. It's in between of a pink and a purple. So I was joking, if I could put Hermes color on these two necklaces, the pink porcelain one would be the equivalent of Hermes Rose Sakura, and the Rodney would be the Moth Sylvester. So you see they're both in the pink family, but one on the spectrum of being very light, airy, and that strawberry milk pink color um, versus the rodonite it's on the other spectrum where it's in between of a purple and a pink but it appears pink even though it has that purpley tone in it so in the footage that i show you guys you can clearly see when these two necklaces are placed right next to each other the porcelain appears to be a lot more solid and just uniform in the look of it compared to the rod and I where it has some depth in it and as I mentioned depending on the cut of the stone you know the necklace could reflect different light Another common thing they both share is that they are both set in the beautiful rose gold setting and the center stone is both 0.5 carats, which is nothing, but it does make a statement for the holiday pendant because they tend to always put the center stone on holiday pendants. Another thing is on the back side of the necklace, they're both sealed with the same tone rose gold backplate, so there won't be too much light coming through unlike the other vintage Alhambra pieces where if you hold it again the light when light comes through it appears differently after doing my research and seeing the differences I feel like I still pretty much in love with the one that I own and I don't feel the need to add another one that looks very similar yet I cannot choose you know the ideal one that I would have liked let alone the salesperson never came through so that is a scenario of me owning one and if I were to consider another one if I would add it the answer is no because I like my pink porcelain still very much till this day now another scenario is if I don't own any of these necklaces and I have to choose one between the pink porcelain and the rod and I which one would I choose if you are looking for something that is more consistent and not in saturated color the pink porcelain wins over the rod and I um, however, if you are someone who appreciates the unique patterns in stone, Rod and I could be a fun necklace to hunt after. If you're going after the Rod and I, there's really no two that look exact the same because each piece has its unique pattern. You will probably never find another one that looks exactly the same. So depending on what you're looking for, and another factor I would put into consideration is price point. Retail prices for them are pink porcelain. I remember paying 3,150 euros because I was a traveler when I returned from Europe to America, I did receive a refund around 9 to 10%. So I, I probably ended up paying around 3,200 US dollars. This year's holiday pendant, it is priced at 3,750. Obviously, after all that, you know, COVID holdup, all of the prices of luxury goods have gone up uniformly. So this year's holiday pendant is priced much higher. The price differences are around, I would say, $500 between two very similar necklaces. And another reason why I think Van Cleef is bringing back this particular one is because the previous years, they didn't really do so well after seeing how well the pink porcelain did. As the next few years, they did blue porcelain, white gold guyoshe pattern with a center stone. 
basically the pink one really rocked their holiday pendant history so this year they decided to bring another piece back in the same realm of it being pink but priced it much higher so if you were to look for one obviously you can no longer get the 2015 pink porcelain so on secondary market this piece is also very hard to find as i believe everybody likes to hold on to theirs after the release of this year's holiday pendant it's probably going to bump up the other one more as people just fall for pink and they love pink so if you are thinking to get one I think the best bet is to get it from the boutique as you're only paying the retail price plus your local tax. However, if you're trying to purchase one from personal shopper, be ready to pay for the extra premium that comes with it because the popularity stayed rock solid. It seems like it's really hard to get a hold of one. Now you've seen the comparison between these two very beautiful necklaces and also I've broken it down into price points and availability. Which one are you going to choose if you were to choose one out of the two? My personal decision is I'm still very much in love with the pink porcelain because it's so unique. It holds sentimental value for me personally. So let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Are you a fan of the new Rod and I or are you a fan of of the pink porcelain and what is the reason why i look forward to reading your comments and thank you so much for watching today's video if you have not subscribed to the channel yet i would love if you could join the family and also give this video a thumbs up because it really supports the channel thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you on the next one take care guys bye it's time.